Hi friends. Uh, I got a box and the funny thing is my partner opened it for me and I was like, yo, unboxing video. <laughs> Apologized, not a big deal. Let me pull things out of here. So let's go. I was about to start this, uh, let's see. I think it's like an hour and a half ago now, but then call came in at the last minute. This is supplies for 30 inks for September. This, probably we know. And I got a new note, notepad. Meh, was about to be upset about my missing Tootsie Pop, but it's here. This is the same flavor I got last time. It's watermelon. I'm pretty sure that's what I got last time. And here we have, oh, cute little like dragon hugging a Lamy 2000. I identify with you, dragon. I threw the box away. Okay, so first off, I got this Namasini notebook. Because I've had one of their notebook pads, notebooks before, and this is to take notes and for work stuff. I think that was my plan. The pages come out, which is nice. I'm not a huge fan of this empty spot at the top, but whatever. And as it says, A5. I like how the cover is fast. Oh, my partner's gonna love this. So I'm gonna show it to him. He's gonna be thrilled because he likes black and yellow. So the sample's this. I mean, come on. You know it can only be one thing. Right? You do know that. So I saw that this was coming out and thought, yep, gonna get that. And then I was like, where am I getting it from? And I went with Goulet because I had a cart full of samples waiting. So there they are. Not swatching those. Possibly not swatching till September. How am I going to live that long without it? I don't know. You ready? Bum ba da ba. Ba da ba ba. It's the Twisby. It's an eco tea in egg plant. Um, Amanda has a great video comparing it to some other ones. Man, is my, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're gonna continue. I got the broad because I've been getting mediums lately. And I think for the tea, I have maybe two mediums in a broad. Makes that good Twisby sound. Um, Mana touched on this, but the, the material is translucent just ever so slightly. She was like, I don't know if you can see this in her video. I could see it. Also, you didn't sound like that, Amanda. I'm sorry. But... I gotta pick an ink to put in there. And it has to be one that I didn't just do for 30 inks, doesn't it? I mean, like it certainly can't be a June 30 inks ink because I'm done with that. That's behind us. So, we're moving forward. I could put lilac in it. I did opportunity in April. That's not the right color. Mm. This is a very purpley purple. Ooh, Mombato's hat would be a really good match for it. There, if you have Mombato's hat, you know what color it is. And that's it. That's all she wrote. I mean, the thing is I've been, oh, I've been really good about using my inks for, I had considered that one, but before I saw it. I'm actually thinking 
from Cali. I'll be honest, there's a part of me that does not want to ink up this pen. I've been cleaning pens like every day. Well, do we have some darker purplish things back in our gray days? What do we think? Box glove? Foxglove doesn't hit it the same as from Cali. I mean, I could put Mombato's hat in it. Well, we'll see. One moment. I mean, it'll. I'm just pausing, so it'll be like no time for you. In the end. I went with the one easiest to grab. <laughs> it was the first one I found. I think the um, from Cali is in a box that I have to open. So I'm just uh, oh, just putting water in it, pushing water out. And is it really so bad to? have two pins inked with Mombato's hat because yes I think the other one is still inked <laughs> wait for the the July currently inked I'm currently planning on making in part because it's just gonna be funny I'm not putting very much in here though because I have like I don't know 40 pins inked at this point although I'm I'm using them and I just cleaned three or four pens today. And I'm going to look in here, see if I have a card. I don't. So we're going to make one of these cards with my bottom's hat. Way to not run out of space, Maria. Perfect. Perfect. Do I have that book here? I do. You know, I am having some sloppiness right now. I'm a, I had two videos to make and now I'm like an hour off schedule it'll be all right second one is my wrap up for 30 inks so that one I'm probably gonna put out first although maybe I don't know look at this um okay so I'll do it here we'll write as well as new pen day oh you know what I wonder if I could have done Neither of those are right. Here we are. Here's a new pen day page. All right. New pen day. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even realize it was the Eco Tea until I watched Amanda's video. Eco Tea, this is eggplant and broad. The ink is Diamine, Mombato's hat. I'm gonna draw a little hat. There's Mr. Mombato's top hat. It's purple. That part's not gonna be purple though. 
<laughs> is a critical part of the new pin day. I love it. It seems to write well. I didn't look at the nib under a loop, but it's, let's see. I'll do the little thingy that we do. It's writing um, juicy right now, but I just filled it. Who knows what it'll be like later. But here we are now, not later. We got Mombato's hat and a little sticker they sent me. I didn't order that sticker. It was nice of them. And of course, oh! Fell over on the job there, Twisby goatee. Not allowed, not allowed. Go out of the picture. Anyway, there you are. That was my little order. Not showing you those swatches because then you'll be able to tell what's going on with them. I'm so excited. Um, swatches, ink samples. It doesn't matter. Uh, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Let me know if you got the Twisby Eco Tea in eggplant. Amanda, I know you did. Um, <laughs> Are you going to get it? Do you have any Twisby Ecos? Let me know. Take care of yourselves. Bye.